Okay, we're here with safety Craig Woodson. So go ahead, as usual, if you have a question for Craig, let me know in the chat and I'll call upon you. We'll get started with uh, Jake Curtis from Cal Sports Report. Go ahead, Jake. Uh -oh. yeah, go on to somebody else. Okay. Anybody else have a question right now for Craig? Yeah, I do. I put it in the chat. Go ahead, Jim. Hey, Craig. Um, you guys had a big influx and in experienced DBs coming into the the program this off season. How has that changed the dynamic in the, the DB room? Um, I think it just give us a lot more depth, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, we just, you know, have a lot more players that's available, but also just more people coming in, just hungry to, you know, improve this DB group, uh, just make us better collectively as a whole. Um, you know, our main objective is to go out there and lock down uh, the offense, the receivers. So, you know, just having more people who's, you know, fresh and ready to get on the field uh, each time of the games or, you know, just wherever – we have going on that's just gonna you know help us as a defense uh just having fresh legs but uh just also just having more competitors just being able to push other guys in the group just to be as best as they can so i think that uh that's really been the main thing uh this off season uh really just having those guys come in and just you know push other people in the group just to you know help build up this db you've got a pretty long list of defensive linemen that are still out this spring ball including a, a name or two that was playing late last season do you feel like you guys have the experience now to maybe still be able to play more man than last season just because you've, you've got guys that have done it more, despite the fact that the pass rush might not be as strong as it'll be in the fall? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, there's, man coverage is definitely something that we've been, you know, working on this offseason as well. Just uh, being able to stay in front of receivers, just not having to depend on playing zone and being able to switch things up in the defense, you know, if we're going like cover zero or cover one or just whatever we're doing, just being able to develop that and just, you know, have that tool available for us, that's just going to be beneficial uh, when it comes to the season. So, uh, you know, regardless of what's going on up front or, you know, whatever guys we have, you know, we're going to be ready to play man coverage, you know, whenever it's called. What are your thoughts on what you got Daniel Scott's been doing in the uh, the bowl games and in the, the combine? It's been pretty impressive. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, D's my guy and just seeing him being successful and, you know, everything he got going on with the combine, which he did pretty good at. And then, you know, senior bowl as well. He did great. So, um, you know, just having him in my corner, uh, just talking to him, seeing his experience. So I'm just really happy for him and I'm excited to see, you know, what the next level is for him. But uh, just also being able to talk to him and get guidance in. Uh, just, you know, things like that just, just help me uh, when this upcoming season and then just, you know, further on. Thanks. Then we'll go to Ryan Young from Rivals. Yeah, going back to those, uh, the newcomers at DB, what have you learned about those guys so far? What's to that to you as you've gotten to know them the last couple of months? Uh, it's, it's definitely a lot of different personalities, I would say, uh, you know, I guess all three of them, they, they're they not really as much talkers, but, you know, when it comes to being on the field, you know, they're going to work hard. They're going to, like I said, they're they're pushing the other guys in the group um, just to, you know, compete, uh, just being able to, you know, make each other better each day we come out there. So um, it's really been the main thing. Uh, as, we, as we spend more time uh, this offseason and then in the summer just spending more time, we, you know, we'll get to know them uh, more in depth. Uh, but right now, you know, they're all cool guys and, you know, they love the game of football. So I think just having that uh, in the DB group, you know, that's just beneficial for us. And then as you all took stock of last season and kind of processed everything, what's the major emphasis for the defense coming into 2023? The one thing that you want to be better at, you know, you want to do differently this year? Uh, personally or as a defense? As a, as a collective defense. Oh, yeah. Um... I think that, you know, last year we didn't play up to our standard, um, you know, when it comes to just, you know, holding other teams to points and um, you know, just also just the little things, just executing. I think that, um, you know, working on just especially tackling, that's that's one thing um, as a defense that we need to do collectively. Uh, we need to be better at tackling and getting guys on the ground and just not allowing just uh, more yards to be gained, you know, whatever, run or pass, whatever. Uh, and just also just executing the calls, uh, you know, whatever's called by Coach Sermon or uh, whoever's calling uh, during the game, um, just executing the calls and being able to, you know, have that 
diversity when it comes to, you know, what we're calling and not just do, depending on, you know, one call that might work, but just executing everything that's uh, been asked of us. Uh, I think that will help us. Thanks. Okay, now, Jake, are you ready? We'll go back to Jake if you are. Yeah. Are you 100% healthy last year, and are you healthier now than you were then? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a lot better now. Uh, you know, even last season, I was I was pretty good. But, you know, having a lot more time and being able to develop my body and uh, just, you know, having more time to, you know, really just build my strength back and get, you know, muscles going and quicken my feet, just things like that. Um, you know, I'm definitely a lot better than I was uh, last season. So, uh, really, I'm just excited to just improve on that and just, you know, build and, just be better and faster next season. A bunch of DBs from Cal have done well in the NFL, and they weren't necessarily really high prospect recruits either. What do you attribute to? Uh, I'm just trying to be the next one, really, <laughs> if we're being honest with you. Uh, you know, when it comes to Cal, you know, we're having DBs go to the NFL almost every year. And, you know, I'm trying to be the next in line and, you know, whoever's after me be the next in line. You know, we're just building these guys. I mean, we have a good foundation when it comes to DBs, uh, just being able to excel when it comes to being in the league. So uh, it's definitely a lot of, you know, guidance because I still talk to Cam Bynum and Ashton and Jayhawk and Elijah, all those guys. Uh, so being able to just communicate with them and just talk to them, they can give me game and uh, just help out, you know, take things from them that I can put into my game and just make me better. So, uh, you know, like I said, I'm just trying to be the next guy up. Is there anything about the program that prepares DBs particularly? Um, I think we have a good line of DB coaches that have uh, come through. You know, Coach uh, Wilcox is also, you know, he was a safety as well. So, you know, he comes into the meetings and talks to us sometimes. And um, But I think that we really have had a, you know, a good solid foundation of DB coaches that's come through here. And, you know, each guy has his own style of coaching. But, you know, it's been beneficial for, you know, anybody who's come to the program. But, you know, as well, I think that the things that we structure here at Cal, just like practices and things like that, you know, they kind of similar to how the things are uh, in the NFL. So I think that's really beneficial for just anybody that's going up to the next level. 